Hi guys and welcome to the channel. So what we've got today is a rainy day. It's very wet. Um, but as you can see there, we've got the wing there. I've done a bit of body work on the wing. We've got a little bit of body work to do left on the skirt. And then I've got the rear bumper here. So what I'm gonna have to do is basically just prep this little corner here. Um, that I'll just tickle that with a 320 bit of primer and then just sort out this little bit here um, and then that's the rear bumper sort of finished um, so I'll, I, what I'll do I'll sand these out just blend them out um, bit of primer just spot prime wherever I need a uh, bit of base coat and then lack of the whole thing um, so that's it I'll have to take out the fog lights and the diffuser possibly because I don't think I'll get masking tape under there Right, so all the panels I'm going to be spraying today are prepped up and primed. So these have all been sanded down, all nice and smooth. Not perfect, but will certainly do. Um, this wing as well, all sorted, primed up, all keyed down. And then this skirt here, same again. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is get the masking tape out. And uh, we're going to mask up the car bag the car i've got some uh tape here which i'll show you what i'm going to do with that and then i've got a whole load of masking tape then so we're just going to mask it up and uh bag it up guys right so i'm going to try and record this as best as i can this is trim tape so there's hard plastic here and then tape beneath this white sort of uh cover there so what you're going to do you're just going to slide it in the seal and uh what you're going to do pop it in there peel the tape off and then what you're going to do is you're going to pull this up and it's going to create a gap between the panel and the trim so as you can see there there's a gap for the uh, lacquer to go into so it doesn't make uh, sort of a, a seal on the on the, the plastic seal and then what you'll get is you'll get a build up and it'll look awful so this lets the clear coat run in under the seal and then you'll have a lovely lovely finish uh, up towards the edge there and then what i like to do is just get some uh two inch masking tape and uh reinforce that sort of tape up towards the panel to keep that gap there because uh sometimes the tape is quite weak or you have quite a dusty surface to tape onto and you want to keep that trim tape up there so that's what you're looking for i'm gonna crack on Go 
right, so we're all masked up and bagged up. We have got some brown paper just covering the diffuser here. So next steps are to airline it off, degrease it, and then tack cloth every panel. Um, and yeah, wish me luck, guys. Hopefully the weather stays this hot uh, so we can get this on here nice and quick. Um, I may have to rejig that because that doesn't look good. Right guys, look at that. That is some of my best work on this wing. It's come out really clean. Obviously it needs a flat and a polish, everything will. Um, but I painted up there because I got some primer in there and I masked up the back and I've got a pretty good line there. And the line worked here, just gotta polish that line out. Got plenty of paint up that um, up in that seal. So it, just, it looks OEM, honestly, it looks so good. And I cleaned the door and the wing and the color matches, of course, brilliant. So that paint with this paint will match that paint and that paint because I blended it basically. And, and once again, this worked. I used some fade out thinner here and all I got to do is polish that up and it should look all one piece. Uh, the cover's in, looks good. Um, of course cleaned up the quarter and that matches really nicely rear bumper come out really glossy uh just needs a good polish because there are a few bits of crap that landed in it but i'm painting basically outside and you're not gonna get sort of paint booth quality but this is certainly good enough for what we need it for so yeah looks really good on camera and in person Really proud of myself. So all we have to do now is uh, put the reflectors in, butter up to the back, one headlight in the front, and pop this front bumper on. Main thing will be aligning all the bit, of, all the body parts. Um, but it's a new bonnet and a new bumper, so the two wings have stayed in the exact same place. So we should be able to just line it up to the A pillar. And just just jig it around and it should be pretty simple i think um so yeah that's going to be the job for today guys and then hopefully hopefully we'll move on to the rear quarter but i think that might be next episode um because that'll just be the finishing up episode i hope fingers crossed mot and service get this rear quarter sprayed and then do a full polish so i don't know how i'm going to break those videos down guys but um yeah really big success in the last couple of weeks in terms of painting my first goes at it and i'm over the moon with the quality um so yeah let's crack on guys i want to see this car built up now.
it is the next day and it looks excellent i'm i'm gonna give myself a tap on the back it looks incredible but when fitting i stopped recording because we had a bit of an issue when fitting so of course i was trying to line up the bumper and i put quite a lot of pressure by here and one of the repairs come free basically and um i later learned like obviously i've messed that up i did that off camera i just didn't want to record i just wanted to get work done um i was in a bit of a bad mood <laughs> after that happened and i learned after fitting the bonnet uh, as best as i could lined up with the a pillars and the wings that the hinges are a little out and the front bumper where i did filler more or less on the on the top sort of part of this bumper it's not completely following the line that the bonnet does so i'm not particularly happy because i've spent so much time doing this and of course this is my first time doing body work and i didn't really think about that um it looked good to the eye so i thought do you know what uh, let's let's paint and I should have realistically fit up the bumper, aligned the bonnet, made sure everything was right before paint. So I'm left in a position where I could fix this, shave down the top, the top pit of this bumper, repaint, or I've had suggestions to just paint the rest of what we've got sorted here and uh, sell the car with the crack in the front bumper. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so, um, I really wanted this car to come out as best as I possibly could. And it does look killer. It does look unreal. But, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have a think about that.